So guys, I learned something new today. My best friend gave me this plant as a gift and even though I had been watering it three times a day, it didn't look healthy. But then, my mama asked me to keep it near the window and water it just once a day. And pretty soon, it started looking fresh and happy. So, now I understand that for a plant to grow well, it needs the right amount of water and sunlight. Come to think of it, isn't the human body also like a plant? We don't just need food to be healthy, we need different nutrients and the right amount of each. And this is what a balanced diet is. The correct amount of food with the right proportion of carbs, proteins, fats, dietary fiber and water. There shouldn't be too much of a nutrient and there shouldn't be too little either. Such an excess or deficiency could lead us to being unhealthy, like it happened to my plant. If our body does not get the required nutrients, it can lead to severe illnesses that are called deficiency diseases. For example, a lack of proteins in our diet will lead to stunted growth, swelling of the face, discoloration of hair, skin diseases, and diarrhea. If this lack of proteins occurs along with a lack of carbohydrates, it will lead to a complete stop in the growth of the body. Micronutrients, on the other hand, are a small part of our diet, but their absence can lead to very severe diseases. A lack of vitamin B leads to beriberi, which weakens muscles and reduces one's energy. Shortfall in vitamin C causes scurvy, which makes your gums bleed. Lack of iodine causes goiter, which leads to swollen glands in the throat and mental disability in children. A deficiency of iron causes anemia, which makes a person breathless with even simple physical activities such as climbing stairs and also causes weakness. One would think that if we simply eat a lot, we will be safe from these deficiency diseases and live happily ever after. But our bodies, like this balloon, can only take so much. Our bodies are designed for a specific quantity of nutrients. And if we exceed these limits, we obviously won't burst, but we could suffer from what are known as lifestyle diseases such as diabetes, heart problems, high blood pressure, strokes, etc. Let me explain. You see, all these diseases are the result of eating processed food or junk food, which is slowly becoming a part of our lifestyle, therefore leading to us becoming overweight and obese. It's not just the fats in these foods that are making you obese. They contain an excess of carbohydrates as well. If you eat too many carbohydrates, or proteins, our body converts them into fat and stores it too. Fat is meant to be stored up energy. But if we don't use this energy, more fat keeps getting stored and we become obese. As I said a little earlier, obesity can lead to heart disease or stroke, high blood pressure, diabetes or even cancer. Moreover, obesity and deficiency diseases can be avoided by simply following a balanced diet. So, the next time you fill your plate with food, think of my plant and remind yourself to eat smart so you can lead a healthy and energetic life.